passion. Thank you for your energy. Thank you for your persistence. You have energized us. You have lifted us up. You have kept us going. And now we are going to commit to work together to keep each other going and keep the work moving forward. I'm very excited to introduce to you now a very special guest, Reverend Jesse Jackson. Say, so come alive. standing up. The big hand for the fabulous 14. Give them a big hand. I am running rather hurriedly to get to Milwaukee for a big rally in Milwaukee tonight. And Madison must connect to bring about the massive vote for April the 5. The second issue is hold your heads high. In a battle like this, uh, on the football team, the only ones whose uniforms are clean are those who never played. On the field of play, there are some grass stains. And oftentimes, there's some bloodshed. You fall down, you get back up again. You're not measured by the ball you caught in one inning, or you dropped in the other, but you're measured by the box score. In the end, we will win. In the end, we will win. This week, this past Sunday in 1965, a group started to walk across the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Alabama. The state's rights governor of Alabama, who denied workers the right to collectively bargain, a states' rights governor in Alabama denied citizens the right to vote. Lest we forget, we went there and said blacks could not vote. Women could not serve on juries. Farmers who couldn't pay poll taxes could not vote. Eighteen-year-olds could not vote. Students could not vote residents in 19... But we won that battle. And so, from, from Wallace to Walker, we will not be held back in that fight for justice and justice. justice and justice. <laughs> Lastly, when we won that battle for all of America today, you don't export Jeffersonian democracy, you export King democracy. A one big tent democracy. April 4, 1968, Dr. King was killed in Memphis, Tennessee, marching for workers' right to collectively bargain, the right to organize. How do we celebrate his life and living? On this April 4th is the day before the April 5th election. If you care about Dr. King's legacy, one fruit of that legacy was students who should be fighting for student loan deficit reduction. We should be fighting for student loan debt forgiveness. If we can spend two billion a day in Afghan, we can have student loan debt forgiveness. We want every student in this state since he's cut back education by $900 million. 
and tuition is rising, student loan debt is rising, many good youth who can, good minds can uh, will not apply, others cannot stay, others have a debt without a job when they graduate. See, in the name of Dr. King, it's one of getting the chain of two Jews and the black killed in that struggle. The name of Mandela who spent 27 years in jail. The name of Bala Wigson, a white Italian American mother who was killed in that battle. In the name of the martyrs. Say in the name of the martyrs and the marchers. To keep their hope alive. To keep their legacy alive. We will go school by school. House by house. Door by door. We'll use that vote. We will determine a Supreme Court Justice that represents justice will use that vote to put in county execs who matter, who care, will use that power to reinvest in America, put America back to work, educate our children. Teachers cannot be blamed for the bank failure. Teachers cannot be blamed for the triggers to all companies. Don't blame teachers, love teachers. Don't blame teachers, love teachers. Don't blame teachers, love teachers. I've seen them, see them tomorrow. Say Saturday. Saturday.